thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So if you are new here, I recently had um, my bottom teeth pulled and I still have some swelling going on and I'm slurring. So I have to learn how to talk without the slurs. So if that bothers you, peace. Come back another time or when I uh, start talking better, if it don't bother you, let's get this party started. So first I want to talk to you guys. I'm just going to like eventually put some makeup on and um, we're just going to talk. The one thing that I want to talk about first though, I have a couple things I'm super excited about. So the one thing that I want to talk about first is my new cup. Yeah, it's dirty. I haven't washed it in a couple of days because I just don't. I'll wash it like when it gets really bad. I bought this. It's glass. And actually, let me grab my husband's. He hasn't used his yet, so this is what it looks like. It was $2.98 at Walmart during um, when they were selling their Halloween stuff. And I had to get it because I also have another coffee cup um, that looks like this. But, um, you know, it has a handle on it and that's open. I don't think this was technically supposed to be a coffee cup, but I turned it into a coffee cup because stuff don't get in here. Like... If you have animals and live on a dirt road or in the country, you know that you have so many little freaking little like lenny balls and hairs and dust and all that that float around and you'll be drinking your coffee, you know, take a get like half of it down and then you'll like notice there'll be like a little piece of something floating in it and then I have to dump my coffee out at that moment and make a new one. Well, I don't got to do that with this because then nothing gets in it and because I don't care if my coffee is hot, warm or cold, I like them all. This can get room temperature and I'm still going to drink it. Mm. So that's the first thing that I want to talk about. The second thing I want to talk about is my Hello Kitty um, lip scrub, which is this one right here. And it is in, um, it's called a peppermint cookie, uh, my nose. peppermint cookie lip scrub. Grab it. Let me grab it. Okay. So, this looks like this. And I don't know what the ingredients are. But holy camoli. I think it works so good. So good. Oops, I put it on the wrong way. These um things are hard to get off. So I use these little thingies here. And so every morning I use this because I have some of the worst dry lips. Like normally I can't even wear like lipstick because I get those butthole lips, you know, where like right around here, um, I like crust up really bad and if you put like lipstick on no matter what kind it is, it always looks like you have damn butthole lips. So I have been trying really, really hard to take care of my lips all year long and, um, I'm looking for something, um, but I don't see it. But anyways... I have some things that I have found through my subscription boxes that I absolutely love. And I don't, I didn't get them in my subscription boxes. I did buy them from the ColourPop. Well, that's what it was. This right here. I could find it. I just wasn't paying attention. So, um, this is what it looked like. And the, um, it's called the Snow Kissed Lip Care Kit. And it has lip scrub and a lip mask. Um, this was last year. I won this from ColourPop's website off of Twitter. Um, I won the whole collaboration, and so I don't know how much any of this stuff is. I think it was like a like hundred bucks roughly for the whole collaboration back when it happened, but I'm going to assume that these are like probably like five, six bucks a piece, or it might be like 10, 12 bucks for the whole set, but it is so worth it. So okay, lip scrub is awesome, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. But anyways, then I have this right here, and this is the lip mask, and ooh, buddy. Okay, so that's what that looks like, and it's pretty, pretty thick. You just need a little bit. So this stuff is going to last a really, really long time. But anyways, I, um, I've been using my, uh, because I have two of these, the, um, the Avant, um, Hydrolonic Aragon Oil Peony Sweet Almond, and it says Age, Protect, and UV Velvet perfecting rose sugar lip scrub okay this thing is like 80 90 bucks like when i got this um i got one from boxycharm and i think i got the other one from mc 
But so I put one away and I decided I was going to use one. So, you know, I've used it a few times. You know, you can see right here that I have used it a few times. This really, really, really expensive lip scrub does not compete to this ColourPop lip scrub. I'm going to tell you why. I put this on my lips. I let it sit. After it sit a couple of minutes, I rub it in. And then I used to have, I need to find another one, but I used to have a, um, like a stick thing that you could like, um, rub on your lips. But, um, I broke it. I break everything. It seems like. So now I got to go look for another one. And I did find it at the dollar store, which kind of sucks because I haven't been able to find it anywhere else. But anyhow, so now I just put it on my lips after, um, I'm done with it. I just take like a paper towel, just wipe it off. Right. Well, since I've had my teeth removed, I don't know if it's because I have, you know, more moisture, we'll call it, because some people don't like the other word for it. But I don't know if it's because I have, like, more moisture in my mouth or whatever. But, um, anyways, um, I wake up in the morning, and right around the top here, and especially the bottom, my lips are crusty as fuck. Like, I haven't been taking care of them. They look horrible. And I'm like, what the hell? So, I was going through my drawers the other day, and I found the lip scrub and the, um, lip mask. And I'm almost out of my, old, my other lip mask, so I'm like, perfect, you know? I'm going to try this scrub, and if anything, I'm going to use the lip mask at night. So I put that scrub on, and let me tell you what, it also tastes super good. Super, super yummy, because I accidentally licked my lips. Um, the uh, This does not taste good. Do not, try not, I should say, try not to lick your lips. I know sometimes it's just habit. But the um, Hello Kitty lip scrub is mm -mm, good. I wouldn't say that it tastes like peppermint, but it, it tastes pretty good. But anyway, so I put that on, let it sit for a couple of minutes, scrubbed it in, used shoes on my finger, and then I took a paper towel and I wiped it off, and all of the dead skin... Like, I watched it because I watch myself when I do things in the mirror because I want to see what happens, right? So I watched all the dead skin just peel right off. And I did it this morning. There's no, no dead skin there. Cleaned it up. I've been using my lip mask at night, which since I've started using the lip mask, I have been having less dead skin in the mornings, but it's still like dead skin is what it looks like. So I put that scrub on and I just wipe it off after a couple of minutes, you know, so say about three minutes total. I give it probably two minutes to rest, give or take, you know, a couple of seconds, and then roughly a minute of me just massaging my lips, getting it all in there, you know, um, working it in great or good or whatever you want to call it. But I am so impressed because usually it, that don't happen. Like this took off a little bit of the dead skin, but then I would find myself using tweezers to like try to pull off the rest of it, you know? And, um, that was just annoying. So I wanted to, um, let anybody out there who has really dry lips like me, let them know about that. Maybe that'll work for you too. And is that all I want to talk about? Oh, well, anyways, I think that's all I have. I keep looking, like I'm looking for something. Like I feel like there was something else that I wanted to show you and I just don't know where it's at. I have no idea. Um, hmm. No clue. No clue. So... I just said, sometimes my notifications and my text messages sound the same. Although, I have them programmed for different sounds, which is super weird. I do feel like I'm losing something. But I do know that I want to try this Too Faced Salted Caramel Palette that I have. And it is, you know, um, a neutrals palette. Um, I don't normally do, like you can see, there's the colors like that. But I'll give you a better peekity weeky in a minute. But anyways, um... I've had this palette for a really long time. I do not remember, like, I know I didn't buy it, buy it as in, like, I got on a website and bought it. I know that much. So I'm not sure if I won it in a giveaway, if it was sent to me in friend mail, or if I got it in a mystery box, because I have bought, um, a couple of mystery boxes, and, um, they do, you know, have different palettes in it, some that I have never used before, and some that I already have, and those go away. But I decided that I wanted to try this look. And let's see. Ugh. Okay. So I watch YouTube a lot. Um, a lot of times I just set a, um, a playlist and, uh, um, mm, let's see. I'm going to start off with this color right here. So anyways, I usually set like a playlist or whatever, and then I just go in and most of the time I listen and then I, I go back if I have the chance um, and comment. I always like the videos so that way, you know, that works. Um, 
But the watch hours and the likes, I believe, from my understanding of what I've researched, are like the most important for, you know, YouTube. So anyways, I went in today and I was listening to um, this girl and I, I'm not going to say any names. I'm sure the majority of you that watch me watch her too. So anyways, um, one of my content creators um, that I watch, she's having some issues with some YouTube bullies and they both have YouTube channels and they're talking mad, mad shit about her, I guess. And she has proof because apparently whoever she is running her mouth to is going back to her, you know, the one girl and saying, see this, you know, so I'm not sure to me, you know, that's horrible because like, um, for one, we're all grown ass adults. If you can't tell somebody how you feel about them, then, you know, don't run your mouth to other people. And if you do actually tell them how you feel about them, then, you know, it's over with. Move on with your damn life and don't be going and spreading rumors or starting shit with other people. Like, I cannot stand shit starters. I can't. So anyways, um, she didn't tell us who this person was. Who? Well, she didn't tell me who either of the people were. Um, you know, which, like, I'm not doing either. But anyways, she did describe them and it got me thinking, like, a few weeks ago, and I'm not 100% sure, but one of the women that she described... Um, I'm like, I wonder if that's the same woman running her mouth about me. So a few weeks ago I was in a live chat. So let me tell you what I like to do because I'm sneaky winky bitch. I like to go into live chats and I like to listen to what's being said and read everything that's going on in the comments. And you would be surprised the amount of people on this platform that run their mouth about other people like they ain't gonna fucking see it or somebody ain't gonna read it and go back and tell them right well anyways so i was in a live and one of these chicks in the live decided they were gonna run their mouth about my channel which is fine you i don't give a fuck if you like my channel or not um the problem is is this particular person watches my fucking channel and I think that's even funnier, like, you don't like my channel, you've said so, you've told other people, but yet you come back and I know you're commenting, because you do leave comments on my channel. So, you know, I'm like, well, at least I'm getting the watch hours and uh, the likes. I'm, I'm assuming if you comment, you're going to like. You could not, I'm just assuming, you know, but at least I'm getting some watch hours. Even if it's 30 seconds, at least I got 30 seconds of their time, you know. But it got me thinking that uh, people should be careful who they talk about. You don't know who you're going to come across that's going to hunt you down and hurt you. Like, do you never watch true crime anything? Like, oh my goodness, there's some creepy motherfuckers out there. But anyways, I just lost my track of mind just a second. So, well, that's what I was going to say. So, I know the person that was running their mouth about me, right? I just never took, like, you know, screenshots or anything. I find it amusing, actually, because I have this funny saying, love me or hate me, either way you're thinking of me. And I know that when you talk about me. <coughs> and most of the time, it gets back to people. It don't matter where you're at. It don't matter if you're online, if you're at work, if it's your, with your family. 95% of the time, if you run your mouth, it gets back to the person that you ran your mouth about, which means that the people that you're running your mouth to are not good people because, you know, they didn't take the conversation that you guys had and kept it to your, themselves. So that just, I want to bring up something else. So I wonder, and it could be two different people or it could be one person, right? So I've had a couple of other people get a hold of me. And um, in the last probably six months, I've had three people total reach out to me at different times. Rather, it was email, text, or over the phone. And tell me that um, someone is complaining about my friend mail gifts. So I don't know who it is um, because these people, they'll tell me 
what was said, but they won't tell me who said it because they don't want to get in the middle of it. But bitch, you just got in the middle of it. You just got in the middle of it. Like you straight up got in the middle of it the minute you got a hold of me and told me that somebody's running their mouth about me. <laughs> Anyways, that came out way more orange than I thought. So I'm gonna try to tone it down with this color here. Um, but anyhow, like, so I don't know who it is, but I do know that, um, I've only sent friend mail to YouTubers. So that means that one of the people that I have sent friend mail to, um, apparently didn't like what I sent them, but pretended they did because I've watched every fucking video that... I've sent friend mail to you because I want to see, I want to see your excitement or your not excitement. I want to see how you react. And, uh, there was a couple of people that I thought, mm, they really didn't like what I sent. They're just trying to be nice. You know, not everybody's like me. If you send me something and I don't like it, I'm going to tell you, I don't like it. I'm not going to spare your feelings because I don't like something, but not everybody's like me. And so I know there's people out there that will pretend to like something, you know, and then pass it on to somebody else, which is fine do what you need to do. Every time that I have sent friend mail to a YouTuber, I have said, feel free to give anything away that you don't like. Feel free. So, if they do, I don't care. Um, then I'm going to go into this shade here. But, um, you could at least tell me, you know, if you really don't like my friend mail, if you really don't like it, Tell me and I'll never fucking send you friend mail again. Like, I don't want to waste my time or money on you. Like, I don't care that you didn't like it. That's fine. You're allowed to not like stuff, you know, but at least be, um, a big enough person to tell people that you don't like shit, you know? And if you don't like something, don't go running your mouth. And when you watch this video, because I'm going to assume, because I don't know for sure, but if you watch this video, you'll know, you'll know who I'm talking about. You'll know I'm talking about you, and then you're gonna go, oh fuck. I gave some people some information and they weren't supposed to say nothing, but guess what, honey, they did. And I wasn't gonna say nothing until my um my friend started putting on her channel how much fucking problems that she's having. And I'm not really having problems, so I feel really bad for her. Um I'm waiting for my trolls, really. Like, you know, people ain't really mean to me. I want them to be mean to me. I have some anger I can release on them. Like, please, please come in and tell me off or something, right? Like, I'm not like everybody. Not everybody gets excited about being a jerk to people. I do. But anyhow, fucking, um, I wish, you know, because it's coming up to be that time of year again. And so I was thinking, like, please reach out to me and tell me that you're the one that didn't like my fucking friend mail so that I can take you off of my friend mail list. Because my friend mail is never going to change. I am who I am. I'm going to send stupid shit, if that's what you consider it. It's always going to be stupid shit. Like, so, save us both. Save me the time and hassle of packing it and mailing it. And save you the experience of having to open something you don't like, right? So, anyways, yeah, I, I just thought that was fucking hilarious. Just thought it was hilarious, like... And it keeps coming out. So... I think it's just one person. I mean, it is, you know, there is a possibility that there's two people doing it, I guess, or more, or three, you know, I guess I could have had three creators say that, you know, they didn't like my friend mail, but tell me, don't be fake. Stop being fake, motherfuckers. Like, be real people, please, you know, and you don't have to support my channel. You don't have to be here if you don't like me. I mean, I really don't want you here if you don't like me. Like, does that make sense? Like... So anyways, yeah, it'd be great. It'd be great if people could just be honest these days and be like, ah, I don't like you. So I'm hoping, because I want to show people how I am, you know, how, how, you, how you do things when you don't like something. Because you can do it without being mean about it. So I'm hoping that somebody sends me something that I don't like. So that way, maybe I can teach your grown asses how to, you know, handle things as an adult. Um, but yeah. But anyways, if you're a fucking, you know, if you're a cyber bully, 
and you need somebody to bully, I'm right here. Bring it. Bring it. Please. Bring it to me. Because I can handle you being a cyber bully. There's a lot of people out here that can't, but I can. And the reason why that is, is because I too am a bully. I am a bully's bully. I bully those that bully other people. It took me many years to realize that I was also a bully. I thought that I was doing a good thing. I thought that I was helping people that couldn't um, stand up for themselves for whatever reason. And I realized that, you know, I may be doing that, but I am no different than the bully themselves because I'm bullying the bully. But please, please, bully me. Leave everybody else out of it. Like, we all pretty much hang out with the same YouTubers. Or not really, I can't say hang out because, you know, we don't, I mean, maybe. But we all pretty much watch the same YouTubers. We all pretty much interact with the same people. So, bully me. Quit being a little bitch. If you need somebody to be mean to, I'm always down. I am always down to be a jerk to somebody. I'm always down. I am. Like, it's something that I like to do. I know some people are going to find that hard to believe. They're going to they're gonna be like, oh, you can't be like that. But yes, I am. And I, I do enjoy it. It's something I'm working on. But I haven't fixed myself yet. So let's be douchebags to each other, right? <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Like, because I know. I know that. You're a coward. I, I, I know you are. Like, you're not going to reach out to me. You are not at all going to uh, tell me you're the one that uh, didn't like my oh friend mail. You're not going to. Because if you were, you would have already done it. So you're a coward. Then I'm going to use a shiny color here to fill in that. And, you know, cowards don't go far in life. They're just, you know, they think they're big and bad. They're not. They're a wannabe bully at that. They're not even a real bully. They're a wannabe bully because they hide behind a computer. And they talk about you most likely over a computer through emails or, you know, over at least you know, phones, text, mes text messages and stuff. Now I know that there's some of you out here that are actually friends and know each other in real life, but the majority of, I can't even talk, the majority of us have met online, have met on the tube and um, we text or email or get on Instagram and send private messages to get to know each other, you know? So, when you sit behind a screen and you uh, talk shit, run your mouth, bully people, you're just a coward. Like, you're a wannabe bully. Probably somebody bullied you when you were a child and you have issues and makes you feel a little bit better to bully somebody else, so you do it. That's why I do it. I mean, if we're going to be honest, like, when I see somebody being mean to somebody... I enjoy being mean to the person that was being mean to the somebody. Does that make sense? Like, I get enjoyment out of that. I like to go over to that person, and I like to be mean to them. But I'll do that shit to your face. I will walk up to a complete stranger that I see bullying somebody and start bullying them back just by looking at their clothes. Sometimes the words that come out of my mouth make people cry on the spot because I have some heartless words. Like, but I'm not a coward. So anyways, my camera quit working while I was going on my little rant and um, while, which was probably a good thing, but um, I didn't realize it because it shut off right before my, um, mm, what is it called? Right before my timer went off because it records for 29 minutes. So when I went to go stop it, that's when I realized that um, it had went off. So I just went ahead and finished the rest of my face and started editing. And in my editing, um, I said that I'd only sent YouTubers friend mail, and that's a lie. Um, I have sent my um, supporters, a few of my supporters that do not have channels um, or create content of their own, some friend mail. So, um, you know, if you're watching, don't be like, hey, you sent me mail. Like, yeah, I did. But at the time, that was when I'd only um, sent YouTubers friend mail. So that's how I know it's part of the group of YouTubers that... I had sent friend mail to you. So I don't know if it's one person or three people, but however many it is, like, um, seriously, you know, just quit watching my channel 
and let me know like please at any time if I send anybody anything unless it's a giveaway because um, usually you know most of the time you know what you're getting in a giveaway but so don't enter if you don't like what the hell's in it but if I just send you friend mail whether you're a content creator or you're not and if you don't like something tell me I'm not gonna get mad I would rather you tell me that you don't like something um, so that way I don't send you something like that again or I can just take you off of my list like you know either way kind of depends on how you tell me. If you tell me about it and you're nice about it, then I just, you know, wouldn't send you that kind of stuff again. But if you were a jerk about it, then I just take you off my fucking list and not send you anything ever again. So I guess that's what the whole point of the little rant was about. But for those of you, I know this is longer than 30 minutes. So, um, for those of you that are interested in what I did for the rest of my face, I use the lashes, um, they're called Camera Unique Beauty, I think, and that came with an adhesive liquid liner from BoxyCharm. Awesome. Like, absolutely love it. Like, I think that they're so beautiful. And I did go ahead and get into my Pat McGrath Labs um, palette because the shiny in the um, Too Faced just wasn't shiny at all. I can't figure out how to get the same thing open now. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. So, I like shiny, um, even if I'm trying to go more neutral, but they didn't have the color that kind of went with, you know, it was too bright or whatever, so I just want to give you another little sneak peek of this palette, because it is gorgeous. Ugh, I just don't want to blind you. Okay, so there's that. So, um, I went ahead and just said the heck with it, because I had like an orange tint going on anyways. I used this color right here to give me the shiny. And then, oh, you would think that I would come prepared. I never come prepared. Mm. I used my Yenza Sunlit Glow for bronzer. And I used my, um, I think it's Duce Posh Powder Palette for my blush. No, I just put everything back instead of leaving it out. I just left the Matt McGrath palette out. <laughs> Oops. Alrighty. So I used this blush right here. And then I used my um, Ofra and... Is it Talia Mar Highlight Soho? And um, to do my highlighting with... Then, because I'm really not trying to bring too much attention to my mouth at the moment, because, um, you know, I'm still learning how to talk without my teeth, and my swelling's still going on, so I went ahead with this half-caked, oh, I ain't gonna be able to read it, theme song for my lipstick, and then I did use mm, this um, Ardella Top and Bottom Precision Mascara, for the love of me, I don't remember where I got this, um, but I use that to do my lashes with my top and bottom after I put my fake lashes on. So, that's really all I have for you. I just wanted to um, rant, vent, whatever it is, just a little bit. Let you know how I feel. Let you know that I'm down for some trolls. Let you know that I'm down for some bullying. Let you know that, you know, I'll be your billy goat if you need somebody to be mean to. You ain't gotta go pick on anybody else. I'm a willing participant right here. But I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Remember that I appreciate every single minute that you come and hang out with me. I do love you, and I also hope that you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome, and peace out, awesome crew.